Oh my gosh. It's been like four months. Four, yeah. I hope they still like me. <laughs> Oops. Uh, well, since I'm all in my feels, uh, let's hit that intro. <laughs> mimosa a little mimosa before we get started because you guys it's been a minute but as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail you know what's going on why i was gone this your girl ashley l-e-i-g-h and welcome again my channel is about health life fitness and all of the above we definitely gonna be working on all of the above very soon <laughs> okay so yes, a girl had the tummy tuck. I had to go get that off real quick. Um, I'm four months out. I went on and got approved for the tummy tuck. So a girl was like, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to do that. At the end of the day, I am a one man band. So I'm, if it don't move, it don't move, it don't move, okay? Things ain't moving, okay? I, couldn't, I was trying to do production while I was out of surgery. Honey, it was not working. I, 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 no. I was like, let me come back looking good so I can tell you all the goods, okay? All right. Um, so we're gonna go into it. First thing is, please do your research, okay? Do your research, because um, it would be a lot more helpful if I had been a little bit more prepared, honestly, how it went down was I was supposed to have this procedure done in August and somehow I got bumped up to freaking March and a girl was like, yeah, it was like, let's get it over with. But now if I had to go back, I probably would have waited till August. I mean, I'm happy. Don't get me wrong. I'm happy that I got the procedure. I'm glad I got it over with, you know, I'm, I look great, but mentally, yeah, I maybe should have just waited. <laughs> well, we, I still got it though. I still got it. But yeah, do your research. Make sure that it's the right surgeon. My surgeon was pretty good. What I wanted is what I got. I had went to three doctors and all of them had their own reason what they could do for me and what they couldn't do. And I was like, yeah, no, what I'm looking for is what I'm looking for, right? But my stay, um, overall the procedure went really well. Um, my procedure was only 20, what, 24 hours. My procedure was only two and a half hours and I only had to stay for 24 hours. So that was pretty great. I was in and out. Um, I had no problem. They gave me plenty of pain meds to go home to. I barely, they gave me some narcotics. I barely use them. Um, I use like the Tylenol. Like it just depends on your pain. And I'm a person that don't do pain well. So for me to be like, I didn't need uh, narcotics was pretty good. I mean, I might have took it day one or day two, but like I know for sure by the end of the week I was not taking any more narcotics. He took off 14.5 extra skin so for it was 14.5 pounds of extra skin on my stomach yeah it was not gonna go i know a lot of people are like well you could have worked out honey i do go to i do work out there's no crunches in the world for me to get that stomach the way i want it to be trust i am going to show you clips um, but you gotta wait to the end though yeah Please wait to the end because you gonna see what the difference is. I'm gonna show you as of right now, four months later, how my stomach is looking. Um, I did like a reveal about a month ago, but honey, the stomach is getting better and better each month. So I'm gonna show you the actual update as of today. One thing I'm gonna tell you right now with my experience, this is not a quick recovery. Not. I call it the PTP, meaning the Pop-Tart Procedure, okay? What's a Pop-Tart Procedure? Is when you go in and you bing and be done and you look great and you out the door, right? There's a lot of different cosmetics or, you know, a lot of plastic surgery, all that, you can go under a knife and be great a few days, not 
this one. I'm going to tell you right now. The tummy tuck is the biggest procedure or one of the biggest procedure of cosmetic surgery of all of them, okay? Tummy tuck is a real big deal. Um, you will not bounce back. Now, what's considered not a Pop-Tart procedure? Because, baby, you got to go through. You're going to be emotional. You're going to have regrets. Your body going to hurt all the time. You might be constipated. You have to be very, very patient. Like, I'm, in real life, I am not really a patient person. I am not, I know I'm bad, I'm bad at that in all aspects of my life. I am working on that. Swelling, um, with that being said, with the being patient, you definitely gotta be patient when it comes to swelling. For me, I had the gastric sleeve and um, my surgeon was like, if you have the sleeve, you tend to swell more than people that did not have the surgery. I swelled a lot and pretty much <laughs> he was like, you might be swelling for a minute, you know, and which is true. Um, it's coming down over the month. Um, if I eat too much sodium, yeah, you're gonna blow and it's gonna be uncomfortable. So my best bet is to drink plenty of water, drink your tea to minimize that swelling. I'll be showing you more videos of the stuff that I was drinking or stuff I was eating so I could get that that results that I wanted. Um, I, to this day, I still wear my binder and my faja. I barely wear a faja unless, okay, let me tell y'all, I had a girl's trip, y'all. Yeah. I had a girl's trip and my, well, actually, my cousin invited me, but we all friends now. So, anyway, we just recently came back like a month ago. And, yes, I had to wear my Faja because I knew the food. And we went to uh, Houston, Texas. And the food was so good. And it was full of salt. And that stomach was bloated. Okay? We had an amazing time. We had a great time. But I knew what time it was. Not walk around looking too bloated. I knew I was going to be a little bloated because... The food that I was eating, I was drinking alcohol, I was doing a lot. So yeah, cut the sodium if you can, as much as you can. Drink plenty of water and tea. Um, swelling is up to six months to a year. Um, so at the maximum, I could be swollen even more for a whole year. But I mean, it's coming down. I'm not going to say I'm flat board ab, flat, flat, flat. I'm not tripping off that because compared to what the stomach I had before, Honey, uh-uh, I'm okay, I'll, I'll get there. I, hey, if you are watching and you will not subscribe to me, please do, it will help me and my little channel, you know, get there a little bit, you know, help a girl out. But yeah, the swelling is real, six months, I am four months out. It can, I still swell, but not as much as the first month and the second month for sure when it comes to my experience with the uh sleeping arrangement and all that oh my gosh okay i did not get a recliner everybody's like oh get a recliner and stuff i just felt like this is gonna be a temporary moment and i just rocked it out on my couch i have a sectional it's very comfortable i have plenty of pillows and cushions and all that because i knew when i had to go to the bathroom i could just get up um I need some help for the first week or whatever, but um, I did not waste no money on a recliner. Unless, unless you already have a recliner, great. But if you don't, don't go out and go purchase a recliner. Uh, I did that up to three weeks. So three weeks on the couch. The fourth week was when I went upstairs to my bedroom. And oh, it felt so good to be back in your bed. Y'all even know when you can't be in your, even when you like away from home and you all you just want to do is like oh i just want to be in my bed that's how i felt like oh my god i can't wait to get in my bed uh so that was a long few weeks how long it take you to feel like yourself again for me 10 to 12 weeks i know people's like oh it's eight weeks to me when i can feel like um where I could sleep the way I want to and roll over I want to, it took me about at least a good 10 to 12 weeks for me, according to Ashley, y'all, not according to whoever, for me, where I can lay on my side, I could get up, nothing hurt, nothing's in pain, 
10 to 12 weeks i know that might not sound very attractive to you guys but i'm just trying to keep it real now it was 10 to 12 weeks for me i'm going to show you right now um what i was looking like before and what i'm looking like now this is my before <laughs> Yeah, I had to put the smiley face because, baby, I can't. I just can't. Yeah, all that stomach right there. Um, mm -mm. No, yeah. What? Walk around like that for the rest of my life, but I go work out four times out the week? Absolutely not. Can't. And I'll tell you more of my story on another note, but I just wanted to tell you my experience. Um, you're you're going to have a lot of back pain because you're hunched over. You have to be hunched over for three weeks. You're walking like a grandma. You got a walker. Oh, get you a walker. I'm going to tell y'all supplies later. So once again, you guys, if you like this video, you want to see more videos about my tummy tuck, please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't. And a oh, girl is out. i catch you in the next video. Hey, wait a minute. While I make a new video, you might as well check out my old recent one. Hey, click that one right there. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, you just. Mm. Yeah, click that one. Click that Click it, click it. Hey. <laughs> Bye.